To carry out any kind of change to the Omnia log configuration, you must have logged in as an administrator. Furthermore, you must make sure that Omnia log is in config mode. Choose channels configuration from the menu on the left, followed by locals. This will open the local channels enabling page, where it is possible to configure the Omnia log local analog channels. To read the channels of multiplexers connected to OmniaLog, it is necessary to enable the local 8 analog channel and configure it for multiplexer. The suitable connections between the channel 8 terminal, the RS4852 terminal and the multiplexer board will be made in the factory. Enable channel 8 by ticking the Enable box and pressing Edit. A new page will open. On this page, under the function Multiplexer, choose MUX24CH from the drop-down menu. The fields Input NR and Acquisition will no longer be able to be edited. Press back to return to the local channels enabling page. On this page, the local analog channel 8 is now configured as multiplexer 24CH. Press Save Changes to confirm the changes. Select the function Multiplexer from the left-hand menu. The Multiplexer Type page will open. On this page, choose MUX24CH. This opens the Multiplexer Enabling page, on which it is possible to enable up to 16 multiplexers. To enable the multiplexers connected to OmniaLog, you must tick the Enable box. Pressing the Edit key makes this active and it will be possible to configure the multiplexer channels. Having enabled the desired multiplexers, press the Save button to confirm the changes. Press the Edit button of the multiplexer that you have to configure. A new page will open called Multiplexer Configuration. Via the first panel on this page, you will be able to add the instrument type that will be connected to the multiplexer via the three buttons – Add 6 Wire Sensor, Add 4 Wire Sensor and Add 2 Wire Sensor. Clicking, for example, on Add 6 Wire Sensor will add a 6 wire instrument. The other two buttons function in the same manner. The second panel contains a summary of the configuration. The position field is particularly important and this is where the cabling position of the instrument connected to the multiplexer board is shown. In fact, OmniaLog automatically manages the positioning of the instruments on the multiplexer, first positioning the group of six-wire instruments, then the four-wire instrument group and lastly, the two-wire instrument group. As a result, after having configured other two- or four-wire instruments, a new additional six-wire instrument will be positioned before those already present, shifting their position on the multiplexer. For example, the fourth instrument should be connected to screw clamps 10A, 10B, 11A and 11B of the multiplexer. It is important to first configure the instruments and then connect them to the multiplexer. As instruments are gradually added, the number of instruments available is automatically stepped down in the NR sensors function. 
This means the user is always aware of the number of instruments, subdivided by type, which can still be added to the multiplexer. When you have finished adding the sensors, press the Save button to confirm the changes. Enable the channels and press Edit to configure the channel. A new page called Multiplexer Channel Configuration will open on which it is possible to configure all the parameters of the acquisition channel in a totally analog manner, as done for the analog channels. Based upon the type of measurement chosen in the Measurement Type field, the default settings recommended by SysGeo will be loaded for the underlying fields. For these fields, it is also possible to choose different parameters from those suggested, or edit the default values. Once the configuration has finished, press the Save Changes button to confirm the changes. The multiplexer enabling page will be reloaded on which there will be a summary of the channels just configured. In the case in which a channel is a 2CH, for example, a biaxial inclinometer, once the configuration of input A has been completed, pressing the Next button will make it possible to configure input B. Many functions cannot be changed for input B, because they are tied to the configuration chosen for input A. Having finished the configuration of input B, you must press Save Changes to confirm the changes made. The multiplexer enabling page will be reloaded, on which there will be a summary of the channels just configured. Once configuration of the channels is completed, it is advantageous to press the lock button to block the configuration just carried out and prevent the addition of new instruments. This avoids the risk that the addition of new instruments changes the cabling of the instruments on the multiplexer. In fact, adding a new instrument could change the positions previously assigned to instruments and therefore require the re-cabling of the instruments on the multiplexer to correspond with a new configuration decided upon by Omniolog. If, at later date, it is necessary to remove an instrument configured on the multiplexer by pressing the Delete key, the positions will remain unchanged, and it will not be necessary to re-cable the instruments connected to the multiplexer. For example, removing the third instrument connected to position 7, 8, 9 does not change the positions of the underlying instruments because the lock button has been pressed. The configuration is unblocked by pressing the unlock button and once more it will be possible to add new instruments. For example, Removing the instrument connected to position 10, 11 changes the positions of the previously configured instruments and causes them to occupy the free positions. For example, the instrument that was connected to position 12 is relocated to position 7. Before leaving the page, press Save to confirm the changes carried out. After having saved the changes, Clicking on the back key takes you back to the multiplexer enabling page. The summary panel on this page shows how many 6, 4 and 2 wire instruments are configured for each multiplexer board. Having completed the changes, press the save button to confirm the changes.